how to use Klaviyo email automations, easy tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up automations on your Klaviyo email marketing. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to click on sign up over here and you can enter your email address and password and the company name and website. Now, I already have an account on Klaviyo, so I'm just going to click on log in over here and I'm just going to enter my email and password and I will log into my Klaviyo account. Now I have just logged on to my Klaviyo account. Now you can see this is my basic dashboard and on your left you have your navigation panel where you have your campaigns, flows, email templates, sign up forms and SMS conversations and then you also have integration catalogs and data fields and you also have lists and segmentations, you have your profiles and analytics. Now. On Klaviyo, you have your flows as your email automation. So you can basically automate a entire flow or create a automation, which they call flows, as a way to automatically send emails when a certain action happens or when a certain date occurs or any other prerequisite. Now, to get started with your flows, the first thing that you can do is start designing your emails from the email template if that's the route you want to go to. So let's say if you want to have like a welcome email, you can go ahead and design that first and later on create a flow. But I'm just going to focus directly on creating the automation. So you're just going to click on flows over here and then you're just going to click on create flow. And from here, you have two options. Now, you can create a essential flow, which is some of the pre-made templates that they have provided, like a order count split or a new versus returning like a customer thank you building lost cart sales or reminding people to purchase you can have uh, any of those or you can also create from scratch over here so first off i'm going to create a flow or a automation from scratch and later on i'm going to show you guys a template of one of the um, automations that are available on Klaviyo. now i'm just going to click on create from scratch over here and i'm going to name this welcome discount and then I'm going to select a tag or I'm just going to skip the tags and I'm just going to click on create flow. Now to create a specific kind of automation, you have to set the trigger. So there has to be a initial event that occurs that this automation begins. So you can see that there are different uh, prerequisites on your left over here. So you have a list when new people enter a specific list, they get this email or when people enter a certain segment on your contact form, then they enter this list or there's a certain merit they accomplish a certain task like placing a certain order or it's their birthday or something like that so you also have dated property over here now i'm just going to click on list and i'm going to choose the list so i'm just going to choose new contacts or you can choose any list that you already have i don't think i've saved the new contact list so um whenever they join the preview list now you can add a flow filter. So let's say if someone is signing up for the second time via the same email, then you can have a filter that they don't get this discount. Now, once you do that, you're just going to click on done over here. So when someone subscribes to the preview list, you have these actions. Now, let's say whenever someone subscribes, I want there to be a email that is sent to them just right off the bat. So you can just drag and drop this email right over here. And then from here, you can click on the email and you can click on configure content over here. And from here, you can actually start designing your email template. Now, we already have some detailed videos on how to design your email templates and how to create emails on Klaviyo. So I'm not going to focus too much on that. So let's say you send a welcome discount email and you don't get any kind of response. So you can add the next thing, which is a logic split. So you're just going to drag and drop this conditional split over here. I'm just going to drag it on the plus icon. Now, once you add this, you're just going to click on configure your split and then you're going to click on add condition. And let's say if uh, someone has not done and you have to choose the metric, which is opened email at least once over all time. So that is the condition I'm adding. So if someone has not opened the email, yes, if they have opened the email, then maybe I want to send them a thank you email. Or if they have not opened the email, I'm going to send another email reminding them to purchase from our store. So you can see if the person has opened the email at least once, you're going to add another email, which is going to be thank you email. So I'm just going to click on over here and I'm going to change this to thank you email. And you're just going to click on done. 
And now if they haven't opened my email at least once, I'm going to send them another email. But this one, instead of a thank you email, it will be, um, let's say this, instead of um, being a thank you email, it could be a reminder or I could offer them another initial discount. Still undecided. Here's 20% off. So I'm going to send them a 20% off coupon if they have not opened the initial welcome email. So now I have saved this as a draft. Now I can also add another time delay. So let's say I can add a time delay and let's say this delay is going to be for seven days. And I'm just going to click on save. So after seven days, I can add another conditional split. So if after seven days, they have still not opened the email and I'm going to add that as the condition, so clicked email, I'm going to click on save over here. So if this person has not clicked the email once more, I can instead send them an SMS to um, purchase our product, or you can also add a email. So that is so simple and easy to create a simple little automation. Now, once you have figured and decided, you can add like an update profile property. So if they still don't reply, you can remove them from your contact list or you can have them added to a different segmentation of your contact. Now, after that, what you're going to do is once you have created your entire design, you're just going to click on save and exit on the top right over here. And now you can see you have a very beautiful little discount automation, welcome discount automation. Whenever someone is added to your contact list in the preview list, so you can select any list that you want. But whenever I add someone to the preview list or someone subscribes to the preview list forum, they will automatically be sent this, um, not sent this uh, template, but they will automatically automatically go through this entire customer journey. Now, it is very simple and easy. You can create as many flows as you want. It's very intuitive when you're creating your flows with Clavio. It's a simple automation and it's available for free, which I find to be the most helpful because um, if, I was to if I was to compare this to its direct competitor, MailChimp, MailChimp does not allow you free automations. While you can create free automations on Clavio, at least you can create like one or two uh, for free initially on Clavio, or at least you can try their pre premium version and trial the premium versions and later on subscribe to the premium version if you find the features useful enough. Now, taking a look at the price plans, if you take a look for 250 contacts, you can send free emails, but depending on the size of your contact. So let's say if I have 700 contacts, it's going to be $30. You know, obviously the more people you add, the higher the price goes. And uh, it's $30 for up to a thousand contacts. If this number was a thousand, it would still be $30. So uh, for the first 250 people, you can add as much as you want, create as many automations as you want. But after the contact list that you have, it begins increasing, you're going to have to upgrade uh, according to the number of contacts you have. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own email automations or as they call them flows on Clavio with this tutorial. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below and I will catch you guys in the next video.